Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. So, we're here at the end. We've got the blue page now, and I'm going to put it in the blue book, and we'll see what Crazy Brother has to say and how he's going to try and convince me that he's the one that deserves the actual final piece to his book, not his other brother. Let's see what he has to say. Hello. Hi, Mackinac. I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. He was serious who did this to me. Serious, my wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. I release him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> began when my brother Cyrus began to lust for riches. He stole from me. He just missed. He hoarded riches for himself. My father. My father slept away. His watchfulness. <laughs> my sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. <laughs> King of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother! He did him! <laughs> and then Cirrus began to destroy the ages of mist. He burned their forest. He tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants. He destroyed all but four of the ages. Of course, I had a woman father. When I finally found him, there was Cyrus also, talking cleverly. <laughs> the lying tongue of a serpent. He had convinced father that it was I who destroyed the ages. He convinced father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. And as Cyrus dealt the final blow, he tricked the father into believing that I was the murderer. But Cyrus not deal as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar and deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burned books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. It's a clever trap to imprison those who have not been warned. <laughs> do not be tempted, or you will rot and die. Imprisoned as I am. <laughs> I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. So, they both tell you to use pattern 158. Um, of course they have to, otherwise, you know, it would be two patterns that worked. They both blame the other brother. They both seem to completely and utterly uh, hate their brothers and maybe their father. Hmm. Figured I'd just play with that. So, now is the time to save. We will save right here in slot 5 and we're gonna see all the endings now here's the pattern book and we gotta go to 158 so 
you you would be a lunatic, I would say, to choose the blue pages over the red pages. And it makes sense to not touch the green book because they both said that and that is believable. Notice here 158 is also an incredibly complicated puzzle. Far, far too complicated. So instead of just uh, trying to memorize that, I am now looking at the walkthrough I have and bringing up the picture it has of the puzzle so I don't have to memorize it. it so I could see somebody picking the red pages. I can't see anybody take, taking the blue pages. And I can see people not touching the green book. But we will eventually touch the green book to at least see what that ending is. Here's the fireplace. We've It's been kind of hidden in dark the whole time. And when we go in here, we see that there's a button. And we can click that. And then you're given this, which isn't very instructive until you start clicking and hearing this kind of annoying sound pop up every time you click. So, one thing I think that should also be said about this, what was I going to say? as I'm banging out all this is the story is slightly different one of them says the father was killed the other one doesn't particularly say that leaves it more open if the father is killed where's the body you might ask so there's the solution and we'll put this in a few times. Uh, game. Hmm. I must have missed something or done something extra. Oh, yep, missed one right here. There we go. So you can see the fireplace rotates. And don't touch the green book. Don't touch this. Now there is an extra age in Real Mist and Real Mist Masterpiece Edition that you have to get the correct ending for. But wait, right now... We're going to go through all the bad endings. Oh yes, now I remember what I was going to say. There are Steam achievements for picking sides. And oddly, there are more people on Steam that pick the blue page than the red page. That makes no sense to me at all. How is that the possibly the case? Does not make any sense. It, they're close, and both are less than 10%, so most players probably have played Mist before and know the real solution and want to just play the correct ending, but it also seems like you'd want to see all the endings though, short enough, as long as you know to make the save file. Kind of wish the game would automatically make a save file. It's not too hard to do that after you put the second to last page in. Here we go, let's see what happens now. We put that in. And you get that. This is the original video, so it's real tiny. But also, it's really grainy. Oh, yes! Yes! I'm free! Oh, thank you, my friend. My dear friend, you've done the right thing. You stupid fool! 
<gasps> it looks like perhaps, perhaps you're, you're in the book in now. And what have we here? A page. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your new home as much as I enjoyed it. I can't see you. You're getting less clear. I hope you're into books. <laughs> Your library looks much the same as I left. Oh, I can all. Hopefully this doesn't go to credits or just exit the game completely. Interesting ending. Hope you enjoyed your new home as much as I did enjoyed it, Cirrus. That's I that's new. And what's it gonna do? now hmm seems like if we're just in a black screen so that's I guess useful so we could click new game and not have to worry too much about that so that's that ending not really surprising at all that that is the wrong one but I can see people scratching their head it's like it can't possibly be the, the blue books it can't possibly be that that crazy guy is actually the white one and you would be right he is not the right one either spoiler alert since we're gonna see the ending here in a second anyways bring up here the picture again so I know exactly the right way to do this mm -hmm. that 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 one right there and I think that's right So, I could see having to play the whole game if you didn't have a save file, which, original Mist, I don't think there were save files, so maybe there were, maybe there weren't. If that's the case, you would have had to play through the entire game a second time, which is what they wanted. A very classic old school video game concept there, it's like, let's make you play this 10 hour game three different times in a row so it's a 30 hour game and it's probably closer to a seven hour game it really so it wouldn't even get up to 30 but boy would that be annoying let's see what the other brother has to say they needed to reshoot all this video animate it as car characters oh yes I'm free <laughs> Oh, I feel alive! <laughs> and how do you feel, my friend? <laughs> oh, oh, and what have we here? <laughs> Perhaps the pages you work so hard for? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, uh, yes! Oh. Perhaps you all see the world from my point of view! <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh. 
Tells you you lose. Tiny, tiny video. Look at all that black on the edges when it's 1080p. This is why everything needs to be CG, even like movies. It's 20 years down the line, if you're gonna wanna continue. A series. Like, imagine instead of having multiple actors play James Bond, if that was just a very realistic CG character that had been going and making James Bond movies for, I think, 70 years. The James Bond movies have been coming out. And 70? Really? That seems. That seems a little too long. So here we see maybe someday somebody will rescue you. And we're here in the darkness again. So, since the threat of getting captured in a book is no longer a issue, since we've already uh, been captured in both the red and the blue book, it only makes sense now to click the green book and see if we get captured in that one. Now, spoiler alert, no you don't. Just immediately get captured in it. Because then you would be rather confused. And I could see some players of this game, when they originally get it, got it just figuring, oh, this is one of those games where it's always a bad ending. You can't do anything but have a bad ending. Uh, if they didn't do everything that needed to be done. So, let's click this and click on the book and see what happens. Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to Dada, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atrus. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island, in my library. Uh, my library it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. Those books to entrap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons was being trapped. <sighs> my sons, Cirrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. Not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Uh, of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. The 
you, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. So this is the white page and now the video flickered for a second and it went to a loop. We're just going to watch him sit there forever writing. So he wants us to bring the page. Now we're doing all the bad endings first so let's not bring the page. We don't, we're not carrying it. Let's just click here and see what happens. Too many buzzwords. Didn't need to call this place Dunny. Didn't need to explain that yet. So we're in the new world. Let's see. As you can see, there's an actual human being right in front of us. Uh, too many characters, dude. Mentioning his wife, mentioning his father. There's a headstone of an, another character on the island. To, Apparently was a friend of the family or something. I, I still want to know her story. Uh, they also he also said his sons because later on they introduce a daughter, which she was in Miss Three and I think maybe Miss Five and maybe Miss Four. Who complete collection? I'm not sure. Nobody else in this family matter gets added. Here we can look around. Let's see. Each of these areas is a place where you would be able to go, but it's all closed off. Sadly, Dunny is nothing. interesting. He has like a picture of himself, I believe. <laughs> he made a fresco of himself. The, the father is kind of a jerk, but compared to the sons, I mean, it makes some sense. The apples did not fall from the, far from the tree. He's the best of the group. Let's go talk to him now. Nice 3D images here. There's nothing here. Doesn't he have something to say to me? Like I totally screwed up? Yeah, he does. Ah, my friend. Ah, you've returned. We meet face to face. And the page, did you bring the page? You didn't bring the page. You didn't bring the page. What kind of fool are you? Take my warning seriously. Welcome to Dunny. You and I will live here forever. Forever. All of a sudden, we're immortal, I guess. See, that's a, I wonder if the books are like two magical realms. Welcome to Dunny. You and I will live here forever. That, see, that's another spin to it. It's like... Uh, also, who are these people that could have come to the island of mist and stolen? 
from him. It seems like there's nobody here. And so instead of being just in a dark place, you are in Dunny, but there's nothing to do in Dunny. We do re revisit Dunny later on, I believe, and it's, I believe also the original world of the people that made the Miss Linking books and all that. But there's nothing to do here, so we've got to load again. So, three bad endings of the four endings. It's not even, like, a question. It's definitely bad endings for not listening, not learning. I suppose if you're going to play a super complicated m game like this that is about listening and learning quite a bit, if you just drop the ball after everything you've done to this point, you kind of deserve it. Uh, I could see why people would maybe side with a with the the one brother that's not crazy, certainly. But Atrus here, uh, the father. He should just be called the father. Although that would be weird, too, if that was what he said. Just call me father. Everybody does. Um, he is the most reasonable of everybody we've seen. Let's see. Again, I'm going to load up the picture because it is a complicated enough puzzle to justify double checking it. Yep. That is it. Now, it is not a piece of this green book, though, the page that I'm holding. It is a piece of a mist linking book like we've been using everywhere to get back to mist. Slightly different thing. This is a linking book to Dunny, not a trap book. See, they're still holding the page. Who the devil are you? Don't come here to Dunny, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. It's D apostrophe N I, Dunny. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atrus. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Agonar, in the red and blue books. Again, he tells you his name because we've read about him. I would have read more if I had actually read the book. It's my works, my writings. He doesn't seem to know his, his library was destroyed. That happened afterwards, I guess. It's an art I learned from my father. They probably trapped him, destroyed the library, and then immediately got trapped themselves. I wrote those books to entrap over greedy explorers. Who might stumble upon my over greedy mist. explorers? Who I had no idea my own we, sons. We never find out in this game. It kind of gets explained maybe in the sequel. Cirrus and Akinar. We had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, he did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. I guess it's, we might as well spoil of some of the things that happened in the sequel here. Like, he mentions his father, he mentions his wife, we see them in the sequel. Uh, his father and wife are trapped on the island of Riven, uh, which is a different age, 
and go to mist bring justice to my sons for what they've done it's kind of the father that he's trying that he was going to plan on trapping with the red and blue books please hurry and the father is the evil page. kind of the page with you kind of quite like the it runs in the family and he was trying to rescue Catherine from the father who had basically kidnapped her in the second game and yeah that's about the basics of the story and by the time you get to Mist 3 all the story is mostly wrapped up and Mist 3 is its own separate thing uh, that really doesn't have that much to do with anything Mist 4 really has nothing to do with the story of the family and by and this five sort of has something to do with the story of the family but not really hmm. so we can go because we have the page and we'll see what he has to say this time Trying to. Page, my friend. Page. What happens if we just sit here? Nothing. It's just going to stay here forever. You have to click on it. You've done the right thing. Now look what happens when he takes it and puts it in the book. I have a difficult choice to make. His finger magically seals it into the book there. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. So that's what it looks like when you touch a mist linking book. You glow and you disappear. Now he's writing his own book, so he's probably writing a new linking book to a new age right there. So he could have almost certainly escaped Dunny. Just done. Maybe never got back uh, to Mist. already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife Catherine is being held hostage. Hmm. So he's trying to write a linking book oh, to Riven. Uh, the reward. I'm sorry, but all I have to offer you is the library on the island of Mist. The books that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope your explorations are satisfying. You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with. Oh, and uh, uh, one more favor. This is new. I'm fighting a foe much greater than my sons could I ever think. have imagined. Maybe it isn't. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. So, it gets later said that you need a little bit more than just writing the books to make a linking book, so that explains why he's not... Use the missed linking book to return to Mist. Uh, so he actually was trapped here, and sees so a pretty nice guy in this 
one. He's not even too bad in the bad ending. It looks like something is rendering in the background very poorly, but that's probably nothing to worry about. So we click here, and we can click on the Mist Book, and we can go back. So this is the only ending where you can actually go back. And so I'm going to say he's a nice guy after all. And then I'm going to go here and see what he did to his sons. <laughs> yep, that is a scorch mark. He burnt the books of both of them. So did he kill them? Not really. They're still around, but he did make sure they couldn't escape. And then there's this book on the floor, which is the Real Miss New Age. So Rhyme is the New Age here. And all we really need to do is, I dreamt again of that last night, that's deny. All we need to know here is the combination, 2735. And we can move on to this extra area, which is after the story, of course, 2735. We opened the pathway here, which you couldn't have done this in the original mist, rather early in the game, kind of by accident. It's an intriguing little secret passage built right into the rest of the path. So, two, seven, three, five. What did that do? It raised the platform. See, I suppose we could go into free roam mode for a moment and see if we can see something we're not supposed to see. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's run this way. I suppose this new area in particular would be an interesting, uh, important to play it in classic miss mode because there was no classic miss mode for this section. So this will be the first time we would see each of that. And it pushes a new little platform up here. I couldn't imagine that you could add that many more books to this world and not do just a completely different story remaster. I think if you if we look at the map here, if you had this as just this tiny little section and then a huge island all around it even further, that's how you could fix it and set it before the events that destroyed everything so each of these books did link to a new world that would work but you need puzzles on the main hub world of mist to lock into the uh, to lock in give you hints and help you unlock these more books or you just get rid of the puzzles originally altogether and have mist be just a linking hub and not really have anything that interesting to do there, which would be kind of annoying too. Uh, that would be kind of a shame if that was the way they did it. We're burning sunlight. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to look at it. You have to come from this angle, I guess. And boy, is that a lightning field world. It's 
no enlightening. Now, there, there was really no reason for them to make it this small other than the fact that the uh, it ha they wanted to match the rest of the linking books. I think they should probably switch to like scrolls and just make it huge or just have it cross the fold in the book or something because it's really really small or just zoom in I mean anything really just give us better quality graphics <laughs> bigger sc bigger videos it'll be interesting to see if I can do all of this uh, world in the next 20 minutes we may go a little long as you can see it's pitch black out here I don't believe it ever changes because it showed it as pitch black we are sanding on snow here's a generator on that why can we turn quarter of a turn here? I don't know. Almost looks like something's carved in the mountain. Here's a thing we can mess with, but before we mess with it, let's see what it connects to. We've got this door iced over, and in here we have a nice room. What is this? This is our missed linking book. If we want to go back. So, we're not trapped. This is an iced over door. And this is pictures of crystals, which crystals start to play more of a prominent role. And it starts to explain a little bit that crystals are this is some kind of space heater. Uh, crystals are needed to make the mist linking books actually work so it's not just a simple matter of writing specific words and some coded magic phrase. So let's turn on the gas. No sound it sounds like. I didn't hear anything like a flowing gas sound. Of course I heard the knob turn. Over here we have something. Let's go check this out. Hmm. It just seems like snow. And those lightning rods Maybe it needs a lot of electricity, and you need to go to a world like that. This to to reach uh, enough power to make a mist a linking book. Hmm. There might also be issues in which you have to make linking books, linking books in a specific ink in a specific world. Who knows? It never really gets explained. So we click here, we get the fire going, and everything gets a little darker because it's no longer covered in ice. Which means that door is now open, and this door is now better suited. In fact, there's even a little bit of a cleared area in front of the door. What was that sound? Was that the door closing behind me? Hmm. So this is where we're going. And I turn off the flashlight and then I just need to turn it right back on. Fog effects, which I don't think we saw any more of this. Ooh, this is almost like Bioshock, but 
certainly this came way before then, that design, and an elevator. Let's see. Up, I suppose, is where we're gonna go. There's a button here, not a button there, and a lever here. Let's turn off our flashlight and see what happens. Green lightning. Interesting. So we can turn it to any color we want. So what's black look like? Nothing. These are actually more toys. There's, I think, only like one puzzle in this whole. Um, so we're controlling this Aurora. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything here. You, you do get an achievement for picking a color and and playing with it, but that's it. There's nothing, nothing else. I think you do with this. This obviously was at least thought at one point it was going to be a a bigger add-on world and they just didn't finish it. So here we are and we have this floating crystal. We have ink, we have some kind of device, and we have another book. And I believe there's a little bit more to this. So this book talks about the crystals, and here is, I believe, the combination we need to put in when we see them to do the one puzzle. Question is, where do we put that in? It opens and then it closes by itself. Interesting. This was, I believe, like Catherine's world or where Catherine was before. Now I'm going down, but I remember turn 180, and this is how we go, yep. Good, so we're right on time if we do this right. I may need to consult a solution. Ah. I'm only yours is the work of I hate reading handwriting in games. It's so hard for me to read cursive. I'm glad they stopped teaching it in schools. So we got a red, two, a green one, a blue star, a red point, and a purple bunny ears. This is what I'll call that. got all kinds of rocks in there. Here, Catherine was living. And here's a map of something, but it doesn't look like Mist Island. Could potentially in free realm mode look around and see what it is, but I don't think there's any reason for that. And so, here's the deal. You've got a linking book, you've got a special device, and then we've got this hologram projector. So, there's trick here. So, we've 
gotta get the right color. Wait a minute, these are all yellow. the right shapes. Red, red two, green one, blue star. So it's this. So that's the correct combination and it's showing us a star chart almost like they are different worlds in the same universe. Interesting. But we've got to get a different color here. So how do we get to the different colors? doesn't seem like there are different colors. Did I? Do I need to go all the way back to the top and change it to red? I think maybe I do. Interesting. doesn't make any sense because if it was that that was the issue red The problem is it's finicky. There's two sets of of pieces here, and they look like they're the same, but they aren't the same. So let's. It's not the color. Maybe there's something to the color later. But red to green one with the split here. Six pointed star, a yellow one point, and a purple. And maybe this slightly different.
definitely not seen a way to change the color. I could think that would be different here is maybe that. If we just hold down the button, all of a sudden it changes color. There we go. Red, blue. Is that right? Almost had to give up red, green, blue. It's, it's almost a rainbow color here. not quite right so let's try the other one here missing here.
That's right. Seems like the very solution is right there. Maybe that purple's the wrong purple, though. That is kind of a... Let's try that color. There we go. And so we're given this, and that is the beginning of Ribbon, kind of. So, how do you coordinate it? Or, maybe that isn't even Ribbon. Maybe that is some other area. Kind of hard to remember. But we're only about... If I read any of these books, I'm sure it would tell me. It might be a passage to deny. This symbol is like the gate to deny. And they've been trying to get back there after it's been, uh, I think, destroyed. Mist as a series has a problem with giant buildings and no people in them. Giant worlds with no people in them. Yep, nothing here. I was thinking maybe, just maybe, that would have done something different. But nope. So, that's the only puzzle. It's really just this bonus stuff. It's not anything special uh, at all. It's just one more puzzle instead of the three that you get in the rest of the world. It's really short puzzles. If they weren't so complicated, it, it would be a really easy game, really short. But since they are super complicated, that's fine too, because I don't have a problem with some, some puzzle games being really hard. Not a lot of them, but I'm okay with a few of them. So we just go back to Mist. So, short of maybe a couple of achievements that I missed, there's nothing more to do here. All of the island is done. Mist Master, Real Mist Masterpiece Edition is really the best way to play this. Wait a minute. Just changed to stone. Wasn't this wood before? Hmm. Weird. So, the only thing I could really say is the game is still old. A lot of the concepts are still old. Here we'll go into free play mode. Uh, the the story is the best part of it, and the characterization is the best part of it. The general concept of having a world that is uh, full of puzzles, full of worlds that are made just to be puzzles, is very interesting. I would heavily suggest playing this after playing The Witness, or playing The Witness after playing this. It doesn't really matter one way or the other, as long as you're aware that Mist came out 20 years ago and The Witness came out this year. I think uh, both are journeys worth taking. Maybe for Mist's case, your best bet is to have a walkthrough going with you. Obviously, I just sped along through this series, ran really, really fast, faster than I thought I would because I remembered most of the puzzles, remembered most of the uh, solutions, and didn't have as much trouble with the sound puzzle as I thought I was going to. There aren't a lot of puzzles though. I mean, when you compare it to the like 500 plus puzzles that are in The Witness, which are really, really simple puzzles, yes, most of them are, it's maybe 15, 20 in the entire game. 15, 20 kind of big ones. Uh, kind of similar, kind of repetitive. Uh, the only thing I can really say 
about the Real Mist Masterpiece Edition is I w this day and night cycle needs to be patched out. It's ridiculous to be in the middle of the night uh, when you're trying to solve a puzzle. That that would add hours to gameplay for me if I didn't know what I was doing. Even with the flashlight, it's not good. Maybe if they gave me a brightness setting, I could crank that up and play even in the middle of the night. I like the idea in general of day and night cycles. It looks really pretty, but this isn't just a walking simulator game. This game actually requires you to, to be able to look. Uh, you could probably take out all the puzzles of Mist and have a walking simulator, but I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest they do a remaster of Mist, set it, new storyline, we're starting everything over again, it happens before the events of what happens here, and then it connects by the end of the game at in t into the events of Mist, or tells the events of Mist in a slightly better fashion. I would have the remaster have characters walking around. I'd have them all animated in the best kind of CG animation you can do. I would have them talking to you uh, just casually. No, like, dialogue system. No trading system really necessary. But I would have it feel like a world that is populated with people, populated with animals. This game does have uh, the occasional animal fly around away from you but it doesn't feel full of them uh, I would definitely want to see completely new puzzles I would definitely want to see uh, what they can think of from that that being said it's been 20 years too so maybe just leave mist alone uh, after the fifth one which was kind of a major disappointment for for what they changed uh, because they went in a very wild direction for Mist 5. Maybe they just need to leave it alone and make new games and that's what they're doing. So Abduction should be available now. Let's look at the reviews I would say and play Abduction. See if that is the new missed for our generate for the next generation not our generation my generation was playing the original mist uh, but it's the same general concept it's stuff that's out of place in an alien world you are just in this uh, area and that's all they've really said about abduction uh, so Hopefully the game is really good. Hopefully it sells them a lot. Hopefully it is the start of a renaissance of their company, Cyan, so that they could make more puzzle games. The world needs more puzzle games, and we can't wait for Jonathan Blow, the creator of The Witness, to take another six years to make another game. Uh, that will just be too long. Uh, there is also a Kickstarter for a game. I don't remember the name of it, though, and I don't support people putting money into Kickstarters. Anyways, because it's basically almost like gambling, but worse because you don't ever get your money back. <laughs> uh, but the art director of one of the missed games is trying to start that game. I hope it succeeds. So if people want to go look it up and fund it, I'm not going to be super upset. As a YouTuber, I have the perfect excuse in which it would be unprofessional for me to support video games that I would then turn around and criticize conflict of interest and all. So I hope that succeeds, though. I really do. I'd love to see two mislike games come out in the next couple years and a few more. Uh, other puzzle games. There's certainly different ways you could do with it. The only thing that I really, really love about Mist is the Mist linking books concept and going to different worlds. That's kind of just basic fiction. Uh, lots of fantasy stories where you go to different worlds. Warcraft, in a lot of ways, is different planets that moved to get that got mixed together, and different continents I think also to get moved together and that's how you end up with orcs and humans fighting each other uh, so that's the same concept it's just that 
in Warcraft you're dealing with people. I would rather puzzle games where you deal with the environments and and deal with people maybe, but mostly learning all the new things to discover. I don't have a lot more to say about Myst. I, I really do love it. It's still totally worth playing every now and then. I'll probably play it in the next three to six years. Again, uh, I'm glad there's the Masterpiece Edition that we were able to play it all the way through without it crashing. Real Myst can't say that. Real Myst crashed in less than 30 minutes. Uh, the original Myst Masterpiece Edition it, you could probably play that fine, but it looks really, really bad. The graphics on this aren't up to 2016 standards, but they're probably acceptable 2014 standards when it came out. Uh, they could be a little bit better, certainly, but I don't see that why they should release a new thing. They should release instead upgraded versions of Riven, the sequel, The Mist and Mist 3 if they can ever get the rights to that and Mist 4 uh, Uru probably needs an update in the graphics and audio too and then Mist 5 needs just a total remaster uh, of everything particularly its gameplay element yep I love Mist I don't have a lot of bad things to say I hope everybody enjoyed it the worst part of course the darkness we're sitting in darkness for no reason why is that there as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. That takes you to my main YouTube page. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. You can click that and make a donation. Also on my main YouTube page is a playlist tab. You can click that and see a playlist for every game I've ever covered. I'm sure you can find something to watch. Go watch The Witness. Lots and lots of videos there of me playing The Witness all the way through to my satisfaction. I may have missed a puzzle or two. Uh, then plenty of other games also on those playlists. So don't just have to watch puzzle games. I play a lot of different games. And then down below in the description box, I have links to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. So friend and follow me on all of those. That helps you out so you know when my latest videos are available. It also helps me out with all those services because I'm, they all want me to have more friends, and I want to have more friends. Thank you through, for going through this journey. Thank you through, for watching it. Sorry if you ended up watching a lot of black screens. Uh, that certainly was a pain for me, too. And have a good evening. Bye.